Hello everyone, welcome to this part where we're gonna start to do some React Native authentication. So what we're gonna do in this episode is about managing React Navigation to make it work with uh, like uh, when it's log, you can see that, when it's not, you can see that. So this is what we're gonna do. So if we, if you have followed me in the past episode, if you start your React Native project, you're gonna get this problem. And we get that because we are not authorized. So first thing we're gonna do, go inside your schema ex. So inside schema ex, right inside the, the Instagram web here, and just uh, coming out this line for now. So now I'm gonna refresh, and now it worked, perfect. So now you see I'm not logged and I'm not supposed to be there. So this is what we're gonna do. And I don't know why I have this folder here. Okay. So what we're gonna do? It's we're gonna finally create another uh, file like that, another screen where we're gonna call that logging screen, and we're gonna make sh we want to make sure that the user this is what he see if he's not logged. So this is what we're gonna do. So here, what we're gonna do? It's a new folder, logging screen. I'm gonna create a index.js inside that. I'm gonna just start a really simple component view text style sheet we're gonna just set up a root style nothing crazy just a fire contain center just to have a text in in the middle for now really okay and here we're gonna have the logging screen and then we're gonna say logging screen and here I'm gonna put a style of root like that. I'm gonna do as what we done in the other screen. So I'm gonna create the same as the explore screen, and I'm gonna do command D to getting both. And right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just paste almost the same thing, change that to logging screen, and change that to logging screen like that. So now I have my screen. How can I handle that? Now it's the way I've handled this here. Don't gonna work for a simple thing like that. But I think it's gonna be better if we can manage that another way. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this right there. I'm gonna create two functions first. One's gonna be called start logging. The second one's gonna be called start main app. Okay? The start main app is gonna be everything we have already do here gonna be the main application so this is when you are logged here the start logging app is gonna be when you are not so we're gonna start with a single single screen a sing, uh, start a single screen app so not a tab it's gonna be a logging page so we don't need a tab it's gonna be just like uh, just a single screen <laughs> finally so here what we're gonna do is a screen what we're gonna say uh, right there, screen. It's gonna be equal to uh, Instagram clone that login screen, the one we just create. After that, the one I, I don't want to have the header at the top. So I'm gonna say nav get our style. In here, that's gonna be an object. I'm gonna say nav bar. Uh, oh, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm gonna just say like that for now, like this. And now I'm gonna remove this nav here. How can I initialize this? It's by doing something like that. I'm gonna create another function called init. Okay. So now, how gonna how we gonna start that? First thing is we're gonna create a new util here, function called app initialize .js. Here is gonna be where we're gonna start uh, the application. Here, what we're gonna do is this function we're gonna export in app initialize like that. It's gonna be an asynchronous function, and I'm also gonna export default. It's gonna be easier. And what I'm gonna import also is the async storage. So, like I told you in uh, the other episode, is we work with JWT, so we're gonna save the JWT in the async storage. So here is gonna be the place. 
while this thing is the first function get called in the application. And we're gonna make sure that this is the place where we're gonna finally await async storage that get item. We're gonna call that Instagram clone. And I'm gonna say token. So here we're gonna check if we're gonna get the token. After that, what I want to do is if I don't have a token, let me do something else, doing something else. So if you follow me, what I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna import finally my function. Oops, not from here, but from my nav. I'm gonna import my start login and start main app. So here, if I have no token, I want to make sure you get pushed to the login page. If you have a token, I want to make sure you go to the right page. But now the thing is, now we have this icon lo load. We need to make sure we're gonna load the icon first. So that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that right there at the top. So we need to make sure we get the icon loading first. So we're gonna do this before the token. And this is a promise, so we can call that right there, like that. But the thing is this function, gonna have really weird problem if we do this so how we're gonna manage that it's we need to make sure that that's gonna be a function we're gonna call our premises so like that so a function we call a premises now you see we have some error with the aslin we're gonna figure out right now remove react we don't need that for true we don't need reject we don't use it and now here they say dev is not defined so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take dev we're gonna go inside eslin global copy paste that and we're gonna say false so this way we get nothing okay so now we have that we have that but now if i refresh you see now i get this thing because why because inside my index.js i'm using again the uh, the app so here i'm gonna say init and now here i'm gonna call my function init it's gonna still don't work because right now we're gonna still here like you don't know where to start. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the nav right there, and now we're gonna import this function we just create inside the util. Util, app initialize, and we're gonna import this app initialize. And finally, we just call that right there, app initialize. Initialize. And now if I refresh, boom, login screen. Now we see here I get this uh, headers. So I'm gonna remove that. So like a navigator style. I'm gonna say nav bar hidden to be true. I don't want to have a nav bar here because that's gonna be that need to looks like uh, this one. So I'm gonna refresh and that's it. Logging screen. So you see. So finally, if you want to test it, what you can do, it's going back to app initialize and just say finally here, if I have a token, I'm gonna go to login. If not, I'm gonna go to the start main app. I'm gonna refresh and now you see, so this is the inverse. That's it for this episode. Next one, we're gonna design this page here. It looks pretty boring right now. After that, we're gonna install the Facebook SDK. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, episode. And uh, again, the code's gonna be on GitHub. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.